Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. The three teenage suspects accused of raping an 18-year-old girl in Kena earlier this month were back in court today. At the preliminary hearing, lawyers for the three argued the current bond set at $250,000 is excessive, stating that while the men are refugees, they are not a flight risk since they cannot afford to leave the country. Prosecutors argued otherwise, and the judge ruled that the bond remained. The judge also granted a continuance until March 13th. The fourth suspect who is underage is being held at the Ada County Juvenile Detention Center. The topic of human trafficking has been in the news lately because of the highly publicized case out of Florida. Today in Boise, the Idaho Anti-Trafficking Coalition hosted a legislative lunch and learn for lawmakers. The coalition serves children and adults living in repetitive life of entrapment known as sex trafficking. The IATC tries to break this vicious cycle. There aren't a lot of people who are addressing it. So we're pushing for visibility and awareness, but we're also really challenging the state to get involved and jump on board. The Idaho Anti-Trafficking Coalition also is heavily involved in educational training and holding town hall meetings to spread their message of support. It's now official, the cabin, the historic literacy center by the Boise Public Main Library will be moving to the east end of Julia Davis Park. The Boise City Council made the decision last night. For some time, the fate of the cabin had been hanging in the balance given the plans to expand the library. In an email to supporters today, the cabin's executive director, Kurt Swolfer, said, quote, while we understand that some of you feel disappointed that the city has opted to relocate a historic building, cabin leadership is excited that we finally have a clear path forward and that the city chose to protect the access and future programming potential of our organization. No date yet on exactly when the cabin will move. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Well, temperatures today warming up nicely after having snow last night and uh, just a damn, just pouring rain this morning. We actually hit 60 in Mountain Home for the high temperature today. Boise only 51. I thought we'd be close to 56, but we had snow on the ground and kind of keeping things a little bit cooler and then cooler still to the west of 43 in Ontario, but 55 in Twin Falls as well. So that warm air surging to the north and the warm sector of a storm that's pushed on through. Precipitation, there's some to the south and east of us as also. You see showers south of Grandview. There's some just to the west of Boise, and these showers will increase tonight. We'll likely see some showers as this cold front approaches. Here's the warm sector of our storm system right here. But once this front comes through tomorrow morning through 80 County and Boise specifically right around seven o'clock in the morning, that will bring in colder weather. And so I will drop into the mid to upper thirties tomorrow morning. It's barely going to rise during the afternoon because of this cold weather starting to work its way in from the west. The atmospheric river, one more surge of moisture comes in for tonight, and then all of this is going to slide down. This whole thing will slide further to the east and we'll get the drier influence of the air coming in from the Pacific Northwest and a break in all of this precipitation. So no precipitation, no snow in the valley, although the rain tomorrow morning with that cold front could turn over to and probably will turn over to a burst of snow. Don't panic. It won't do much of anything. And then the temperatures will just kind of hover above freezing and then rise. Everything would, would melt in the mountains. A little bit of snow expected overnight tonight. One to three inches in many communities, a little more in those higher elevations. My extended forecast, this 20% chance of precipitation is before the sun comes up. We are going to see sunshine and a lot of it during the day tomorrow, during the day on Friday, during the day Saturday, and then partly cloudy on Sunday. As as well, the colder temperatures will show up in the morning. We'll have lots of frost around Friday to Sunday morning. So cold start to the day, but that sunshine will feel nice. Our next storm doesn't come in till next Wednesday. I just posted uh, uh, a post about Soldier Mountain not opening during the day tomorrow because of too much snow and a high avalanche danger. So they want to be prepared for the weekend skiing. So if you go to my Facebook page, you can see some ama amazing photos of how much snow they have. So they'll be open this weekend, not tomorrow. Check that out on my Facebook page. You can get updates on this forecast right here later this evening.